Alright guys, so welcome back to my channel. This is Shigra Kitaro para naman sa isang napakagandang tutorial, no? And you are watching Pinoy Tutorial TV. Okay? So, ang topic natin ngayon ay syempre, ito ay pag-aaralan ng mga bata. Ito yung 10 main parts of mouse and their functions. So, ito yung mga parts ng mouse at kung at yung mga gamit dito. So, yan. Syempre, uh, ito ay lesson ko sa aking uh, mga estudyante sa ICT-1. So, pinag-aaralan ito ng mga grade 1. No? Pero, syempre, dahil nga meron tayo pa rin mga kababayan na hindi alam kung ano ito at uh, ano ang mga gamit nito, isi-share ko na lang din sa inyo ang lesson namin, okay? Pero ang totoo, ito yung pang grade 1 para talaga dito sa Doha, Qatar, okay? So, ayan na nga, no? Ang ano ba ang mouse? Hindi naman sa inyo nakikita na meron tayong mouse dito, parang Tom and Jerry. Ang mouse po ay gamit natin sa computer. Ito yung tinatawag nating uh, mouse. Pero hindi ito literal na mouse, no? Ayan sa inyo nakikita, hindi yan mouse, okay? So, ang mouse na buhay, or yung mouse na nakikita nyo, kalimitan sa inyo mga bahay. Ang mouse ay hindi ganyan, kundi yun yung, yung kinagamit natin sa computer ito. Okay, so, we have here the uh, parts of the computer. Magaya ng scroll wheel, meron tayong right button, or right click. Meron tayong mouse body. Meron tayong left button for left click. Okay? Sa inyo nakikita. Yan. So, ito na yun mga kaibigan. Ito yung correct na mouse. No? Ito yung tamang mouse na pag-uusapan natin ngayon. Okay? So, ito na tayo. Ano ba yung scroll wheel? Ayan. Scroll wheel. Ito yung uh, ginagamit natin para i-move uh, up and down yung gaya ng ating uh, kung, kung kayo ay gumagamit ng Microsoft Word pwede yung gamitin yung scroll wheel ganun din sa, sa mga website okay? gaya ng Google meron tayong right button for right click left uh, mouse body and left button okay so right button ano nga ba ang right button ayan na sa inyo nakikita na ang right button ayan ito right button is located in the upper right area of the mouse ayan nakatutok yung arrow Ayan, the primary use of this button is to open a contextual menu when clicking on a file. Selected text or website, it usually contains options related to the item. Example, cut, copy, paste, properties, tools, um, font, open, save, print, or delete. Okay? So, yan. Kung gusto nyo i-copy paste yung isang uh, bagay or isang word, kailangan nyo i-highlight sila lang siya. Pag na-highlight sila, pwede nyo i-right click sa by copy. No? Ganun lang So next naman Ayan, ginagamit nyo rin yung pag-delete Okay, pag-paste Sa uh, properties, sa tools, sa, fo sa font Pag-open at gusto nyo mag-save din ng file Pwede nyo rin right-click Pag-print, yan Ganun din sa Word Sa Word, magagamit nyo uh, Kalimitan yung uh, right-click Or right button ng mouse Okay, next We have the left button So yan, the left button No? So, ano ba ang left button? The left, the mouse, the left bot, the left mouse button is usually the main button on the mouse to select an object text or icon. Ayan. So, after right, after right clicking, it was it will be in use to continue the menu options such as copying and pasting, opening and running a program, saving a file, closing a window, and refreshing a web page. No? So next is we have the scroll wheel. Ano ba yung scroll wheel? Ang sinabi ko kanina, the scroll wheel is located between the right and left button. So, sa gitna siya, na, ayan na nga, nakatutok yung ating uh, arrow. It allows to, to scroll up or down on the page as well as to zoom in and out of images and, and documents. It is used the third button by pressing it down. This middle button can fasten the scroll speed and open the link in a new tab in a web browser okay so yan yun ang gamit na no pwede siyang zoom in or zoom out okay 
So, yun nga, sabi ko, pag, pag clinic mo yung sa browser, yung arrow down, at i-scroll mo up and down yan, sasama din yan, parang bababa yung page sa tataas din. Next, we have a number for the mouse body. So, the mouse body, yan, the mouse body is a part that you hold in your hand. It is usually made of plastic or metal, and it's smooth surface to allow easy movement. Some mice have ergonomic design to fit comfortably in your hand and reduce fatigue during long periods of use. Kasi, minsan, pag sa sobrang tagal ng hawak mo ng mouse, pag ang mouse ay hindi maganda or maliit or basta hindi siya fit sa kamay mo, ay parang nakakangawit siya, nakakapagod. So, yun. Kaya, dinisign nila ang mouse talaga na ito ay maganda talaga gamitin. Okay? So, ayan, yung mouse body. Yan, yan. Isa sa mga importante sa mouse. Next, we have the motion detect detection sensor. Ayan. So, the a motion detection sensor is a small object located inside the mouse. Ayan, papakita ko after nito. Its job is to detect when the mouse is moved so that it can send that motion of your hand to the computer which then translate it into cursor movement on your gaming or regular monitor screen. Ayan. So, ito, papakita yun. Ayan. Sa, sa loob daw, no? Meron siyang, ano, uh, sensor. Yun nga yung umiilaw sa uh, ilalim. Okay? So, ayan. Uh, ayan, tama. Tapos, parang may itong scroll, meron parang bola yata sa ilalim. Ay, tama, sensor sa ilalim pa. Para pag yung nagsuscroll kayo, nagmumove nga din siya. Okay? So, yan. Okay, next, we have the motion detection sensor. Ano ba ito? LED light. Ayan, meron tayong LED light. LED light is most optical located under the motion detection sensor. It emits a red optical light on button used to illuminate the surface below. The mouse so that the sensor can track movement accurately. And it also shows the battery level when the wireless mice is charging. Gaming mice have customizable RGB lights that can be turned on and off, while laser mice use an infrared LED that is not visible to the naked eye. So, yan ang pinagkaiba. Okay? Next naman, ayan sa nakikita niya, no? yung ilaw na yan. Ayan. So, pag bumili kayo ng mga dati yung mga old mouse kasi wala siyang ano wala pa siyang LED light bali meron siyang parang bola sa ilalim eh, kung kayo ay umabot nung panahon na yon yun yun yung mga old mouse no yung may bola sa ilalim so next is the USB cable so yan nakatutok naman yung USB cable na no? ayan yung USB cable the USB cable is used to connect wired mice directly to the USB port on your computer. So, ito yung ano, wire para i-connect nyo siya sa computer. Okay? The data travel from the mouse to the computer via this USB cable so that you can control your arrow pointer on the screen. The cable is usually about 5 feet long, giving you enough slack to move around comfortably while using the mouse. Ayan. So, yung kabila naman, meron tayong wire, uh, wireless mouse. No? Meron tayong wireless mouse, meron tayong wide mouse. Yung wire, wireless mouse, wala siyang wire, of course. Wireless nga, di ba? So, next, wireless receiver. Ito na. I think the wireless receiver is a small plastic dongle that plugs into an open USB port in your digital computer and has a small receiving antenna that picks up the wireless signals from the mouse. It sends head movement from the mouse to the computer wireless. Okay, so ito yung tinatawag natin na uh, wireless. Ayan, meron siyang maliit dyan na pang connect sa USB port para ma gumana yung inyong wireless. Siyempre, kailangan nyo rin siyang i-on yung wireless ito. Okay? Kailangan nyo rin i-on ito para gumana siya. Okay? So, uh, plug and play yan. Wala ka lang kailangan. I-connect mo lang siya. Gagana na yan. Next, number 9. The battery, of course. Kailangan natin battery sa wire wireless mouse. In the case of wireless mice types, the battery is used to power the mouse. The battery is located at the bottom of the mouse. Most mice use a standard uh, AA or AAA battery which can last for months. So, matagal yan. Matagal talaga yan mag-lobat kahit isa lang. So, can last for months or even years with regular use. Some gaming mice have built-in rechargeable batteries that can be charged using a USB 
cable. Okay? So, yun. Yan yung battery niya. Nakikita niyo naman. And number 10, we have the printed circuit board. Ito yung board. Kung wala itong board, syempre, hindi gagana yung mouse na yan. Yung wireless mouse na yan. So, the PCB is the important element. Yan yung PCB. Nakikita niyo naman yung arrow white. Ito. Okay? So, this is the PCB. Okay, the PCB is the important element of the mouse that holds all of the other parts in the place. In place. It is a small, flat piece or a greenish color by fiberglass with numerous tiny pathways. These pathways connect all of the mouse buttons, sensors, registered battery, and other electronic components to communicate with each other. Ayun. So, yun mga friendship, no? Maraming salamat sa inyo at sana ay naunawaan nyo kung ano ang gamit ng mouse at kung ano yung mga parts ng mouse. Okay? So, this is Shigura Katero para